I was a victim of a crime involving a young person who'd uh, gone past uh, my house and the neighbours' houses uh, daubing graffiti on the buildings, on cars, on walls uh, with spray paint and it affected all the neighbours on our street and then three or four other streets going up towards the town centre. It damaged the cars and it damaged the community well-being. I was very upset and very angry. The effect on my family has been quite far-reaching really. Uh, my wife actually wants to move away from the house now uh, and my daughter won't sleep in the house anymore if we're not there and she's, well, she's 19 year old now. We were briefed on what would happen and there was a series of questions uh, by one of the restorative justice workers where we had a chance to say how the crime had affected us and the offender had a chance to respond uh, with why, why he did it and, and, and be open and honest about it. So questions answered, but I also wanted to inform them of the impact that they'd caused and the anguish that certain people felt. I wanted to know why they thought it was appropriate to do this. The fears and worries that I had about becoming involved in restorative justice are probably the same uh, thoughts and fears that, that many people uh, would have. Uh, it's the fear of becoming a victim again because you've become involved in it. Also it's quite a time consuming process because the restorative justice team want to make sure they get it right. That it's r right for the offender and that it's right for the victim. We just sat in a circle and the offender came in with his, with his mum uh, and his nan. I wanted to know why I'd done it there and then. I, w I was looking at his facial expressions about was he smiling or was he upset when he, he explained about his family problems. I actually felt very sorry for him. Uh, and that was a really good process because you could see the whites of his eyes and you could see whether it was genuine, you know, and uh, that was good. It was also nice to know that he, that he was supported by, by, uh, by his family, by his mum and his nan. The benefits of RJ for me was the chance to hear the offender say sorry to me. That was important and I felt a lot happier that I'd expressed to the offender the impact that his actions had had and, and the ripples that it had caused throughout the rest of my family and the community where we live. But I felt that he, he realised at the end of it that it was a bad thing to do. Before the process I was a victim of crime. Since the process I'm no longer a vic victim. I've taken ownership of the situation and now that they're not a faceless person that was committing antisocial behaviour. I know who they were and I know the reasons behind it and I've put it to bed through using restorative justice. The rest of my family refused to get involved in, in the restorative justice process. Uh, for the reasons that we've discussed earlier that a lot, a lot of people uh, fear and feel. Uh, for them it's still not a closed book. Uh, they're still concerned about noises on the streets, things going on, people driving past late at night, uh, still hold some concerns for them, whereas I don't have them anymore. Uh, I really wish they'd taken part in the process so they could have the closure I had. The RJ process is a brilliant opportunity to explore what actually occurred to you and bring some closure to it. I think restorative justice could be used for victims of many types of crime. It's not just important for the victim, but it's also important that the offender uh, has the opportunity to, to realise what they've done. I know he's felt sorry. Um... I know he's moved away from the local area and I know he's done more education, um, further education for what he was wanting to do. He was genuinely sorry for his actions. I think it was an opportunity for him 
to try and get some closure on it and apologise for what he'd done, not just by upsetting the people in my community, but also for upsetting his mum and his nan. He were both heartbroken during the meeting. I think really it'd be a good tool to reduce the fear of crime and also reduce repeat crimes once offenders are aware of the impact of their actions on the people in the community. I can empathise with, with people who are going into this situation for the first time, they're meeting someone who, who has done something to them personally, physically, you know, or their property. Uh, I can empathise with the, with the fears and worries and concerns that they, that they may, may have internally. And all I can suggest is that they speak to the restorative justice worker who's been appointed to them and let those feelings and thoughts out and be reassured that it is a safe place. They make sure it's a safe place for everybody, for the victim and the offender. And it's an experience that I recommend people grasp the opportunity to help them get closure on the offence that has been perpetrated against them.